Dreary and dark is is a choice. I am. I'm big lighting fan. I'm like, dude, why don't you turn some lights on? He's like, he was like, no. Absolutely yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, how Chris yeah. is too. Yeah. Uh, Where do you want? Do you want? Right here. Which one do you want? This is a uh, hoppier. This is West Coast sweeter. I'll do it sweet. Um, and he's upstairs. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Right now he's in Utah. Oh, that's right. He's out with those guys. I gave uh, Norman my ski pass because it covers the mountain that they are going to. Oh, really? What's the ski pass that you have? The Epic Pass. What? The Epic Pass? Epic, like, Vail Resorts Pass. Epic. It's like Vail, Beaver Creek, Dude, that's City, crazy. all those ones. Wait, yeah, you, but you have a full... Yeah, I, and I ski well beyond <laughs> paying for it. Oh, really? I did like 10 days this year. And lift tickets at the window are like $200. Holy yeah. Holy pass is like 700 Dude, like hot moms ask you for lessons and shit because you look like you'd be a ski instructor. You got a <laughs> ski instructor face. This is a compliment. I know. You should be very happy about this. <laughs> Wait, isn't that, isn't that how Vail got Park City? They like, uh, the, yeah, they, the lawyer for, for Park City forgot to renew their lease. How the fuck do you know this, dude? You read the fucking <laughs> skiing magazines? They acquired, yeah. Vail Resorts acquired Park City. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, what happened was they, yeah, they, they, uh, they were forgot to renew their lease. Like it just like it was like a hundred year lease or something. And the morning it expired, like the lawyer forgot to like re up it. <laughs> so <laughs> that's like how so like, Vail how? just Vail just got it, and then Park City like had a mountain they couldn't use, but they owned all the lifts, the lifts and everything. I, that sounds familiar. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that sounds familiar. Like <laughs> so forgetting to, to cancel your mountain. Hulu, yeah, not dude. forgetting to renew your mountain. Dude, like yeah. what a fucking dick. And it's Park this guy, City. This guy thinks the podcast has started. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed this? Yeah, it is. Yeah. We're doing it. Are we? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm the asshole. Yeah. I'm the only one you not could, speaking into the microphone. You couldn't tell my my energy was fake. <laughs> I'm like I'm like we're having a conversation and you're talking into the mic. Yeah, yeah. Like I thought I thought this was the, the foreplay. Yeah, we should announce that. And Barstow actually did this to us the first time we met uh, KFC and, and Fidel. Yeah. Where we walked into the room and if I knew them, I would have said some outlandish shit walking uh -huh. in that giant yeah, space. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, when are we gonna start? And they're like, oh, we we started ten minutes ago. They just come in. <laughs> I didn't realize that they come in cold. Yeah, I just call I'm them a that, slur. I'm not familiar with uh, with barstool. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is it with, yeah. with that? Where, where are you at with that? How, what happened? I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I feel what like do this I is... give a shit. But I do care for you. No, yeah, all is well. I um. You know, I got fired like I don't know, three years ago, two years. For I don't what? Even know. You did something wrong. I wrote right? a blog about a girl who went missing. I thought she was fine. <laughs> he she made a mistake that anyone could. I make. looked like an asshole. Yeah. They fired me. Wait, yeah. hold on. Say it again. I wrote a blog one day about a girl who'd gone missing. Um, you know, it was a story I found on the internet. Yeah. Uh, and I made some jokes in it. No, nothing, nothing like. The jokes weren't what got me into trouble. Dead was, girl jokes were. It great. was, but they weren't. I didn't <laughs> she know, she, didn't was know dead. she was dead. I didn't oh. know she was dead. I thought, oh. from what I had read, that I thought she was fine. Yeah. So he's like, "This stupid bitch." No, but got I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't even do that. <laughs> no, no, it no, was stupid bitch got lost. Yeah, in the it mail. was just Fucking that I wrote the blog get, at yeah. all. Like yeah. he, he almost, uh. almost like even if I had written. You know, I hope she's okay. Like right. I, it would have been a problem. Yeah. I shouldn't have done anything with well, it. Is there an editor that in between? I didn't have one. You barstool yeah. maniacs and just writing stories on there, stuff. There had been, but uh, I had been given grandfathered uh, in rules. No, I had to earn it, and I earned editorless working. I was given, you know, carte blanche to, to just post. Oh, yeah, yeah, they dude. don't do that anymore now because of you, right? I the Francis. I think I was the straw that yeah. broke the camel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I would I would have gotten fired. So if, I would have done something exactly like 100%. that. A hundred percent. A thousand percent. Yeah, and if I hadn't gotten fired for that, I, I would have gotten fired for something else. Yeah. <laughs> Soon. It was a matter of time. That was three years ago. I think so. I think it was 2019. Uh, is, aren't you still Francis Barstool on the internet? No, no. For, they were really cool about that. Uh, the social media guy, you know, normally when you <clears throat> change your Instagram handles and stuff, you, you lose over. your blue check mark. Oh. Uh. But they talked to Instagram. They yeah. were like, let him change it. Don't They take were like, away. the dead girl jokes were funny enough. We're yeah. going to let him keep that star. <laughs> yeah, we want everyone knowing it's still him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let him cancel himself. And not us anymore. Yeah. Well, you look well rested since. I, I always said you have like a glow about you. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you, people you look say like that. You, you look like you sleep in buttermilk. Like I'm, you a, have I'm a little red. No wrinkles. I've got a bit of a redness. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but not your skin. Your skin is skin's great. Clean. Great skin. You think? Yeah, yeah great yeah. skin. It's so sweet. Do you moisturize? I do. I have to. <laughs> yeah. What, what's your <laughs> Why? 
<laughs> Why? Why do you have to Yo, moisturize? shut up, Chris. This is true. No, I, not a If I don't, my it, I it, it hurts. I get really dry. Like windburn? Skin. Yeah, no, it hurts. Like uh, <laughs> it hurts. Scaly. It hurts me you too. <laughs> and then you start rubbing it, and it and then you get yeah. raw. You well, know? you're always on fucking Veil and all these mountains. That's you a know different me. elevation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do now. Do you do a mask? Do you do like a what? I oh, can, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I um, can see you having a little bit of uh, American Psycho. Yeah, morning routine. cucumbers that, on I your eyes. I get that a lot. I get that a lot. You know, you know, you know who only are the people who say that to me though? Psychos, ugly people, <laughs> sure, <laughs> people yeah. who don't take care of themselves. Well, it's yeah. like, well, we have to justify the fact that you take care of yourself by. By by yes. pretending you murder people on the side, whereas right. the truth is you just don't take care of yourself. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a deflection I, I, of your own insecurity. Yeah. Yeah. And this I is don't not, murder people, therefore I don't need to moisturize my face. A thousand yeah. percent. Yeah, it's like, yeah. He's like, you got nice skin. Why do you do that to yourself? Because it's upsetting. It's like you're telling me if I if I took care of myself, yeah. I could look like that. Yes, <laughs> that's fucking ridiculous. This, like, it's like it's like dressing well. In, it's like dressing well in comedy. Everyone's yeah. like, look at this fucking idiot. Yeah. And then immediate a minute later, they're DMing you, going, "What is that shirt? Where'd you get that shirt? It's a nice shirt." Yeah. I that. trash you online, but I'm interested. Are this, yeah, uh, yeah. Paper denim jeans? <laughs> well, you can't wear cool clothes on stage. You can't. It's distracting. Yeah. I, 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 that's ladies. something I battle with. I do battle with that. I dress down for comedy. You yeah, to. you have to. Because yeah. immediately you it's get about out, you... the words. It's about the spoken words. Oh, shut up, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a poet. You know, you don't want to. Yeah. Hey, here's a funny uh, little thing. So <laughs> the first time I met Chris was in Philly. I was doing Helium and he was with uh, Santino? Santino over at uh, the Laugh, whatever it's called. No. Punchline. Yeah, punch punch line. Line. And we went bowling together during the day, which was a blast. Santino is a spectacular yeah, bowler. Yeah, real spectacular bowling, yeah. bowler. Yeah. bowler. You're bopping around with these two redheads in Dude, yeah, yeah, dude. dude Santino's a real good bar games guy. Yeah. yeah. He's got good hand-eye. Yeah. You know? Sneaky, sneaky yeah. accurate type of yeah. Is he doing the uh, the old spin skis? On the, I think he's he getting did. a little wow. bit of a spin going. Those, See, that's yeah. a little much for me. Mm-hmm. I get spins You beat going. me straight up or you don't fucking play with me. If you what, look like straight a guy, rolling, you yeah, can't you, put, you don't put any bowl. English if on it. If you're not a real bowler, you can't be fucking faking the spins. No, it's only fun to spin it. Yeah, but he you'll gutter he, it to, to get the spin down. You're one of those. Yeah, yeah. Straight, hard as fuck. Yeah. He yeah. also he also has some. Beer, he throws him back <laughs> when he's bowling, so I don't mind that. Yeah. yeah. As long as you do that, then you're evening out. Okay, the spin. I see what you're saying. Yeah. But that's probably what got him in the in the zone. It could be. That's what alcoholics. We were throwing him back. No. Yeah, we were throwing him back. We were throwing him back then. Yeah. 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 You get like, uh, was it that type of bowling alley? That's like a pitcher of Miller Lite or some shit. Yeah, yeah, and they, I think they were closed, yeah. but they like opened just for us or something. Yeah, we got there early. We we're the only people there. You got there early. That was the weekend before the pandemic. No, right? Oh yeah, it was. It was March. So 5th I think and 6th. I think it was also like you guys got one more round. In? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. people were like, people were like, I don't think it's really safe to still go out. Should we I think we were sticking like, our fingers in these bowls. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so no, that's that's why they let you in. They were like, we need the money desperately. Yeah, yeah. Oh. well, there was nobody. There was nobody there, and they were like, well, we don't really. Op- I think we oh, got there at the like bar three. next to Punchline. No, yeah, this is uh, South Bowl or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. Wait, did something happen that day? No, well, I think it was either, uh, it might have been the night before that, but we we had all did our shows, and then I met up with this guy and six at some bar that had like five f- stories, and on one of the stories, like one floor, there was an open mic going on, and we went- Was this the radio? And it was, yes, It was yes. like one in the morning, yes. one thirty. Yeah, we went to rave. And we had just had a great night, you know, doing shows five bars, at our, five bars. Yeah, at our terrific two floors, venues. Two yeah. Like yeah. everyone's so <laughs> yeah. sold out, whatever it was. And we go to this place and, we're, and they're like, do, do you want to go up? And yeah. I'm like, I guess we have to, right? Like, yeah, yeah. And we all just like begrudgingly went up and did you know, four minutes in front of this <laughs> terrible drunk. audience that just yeah. hated yeah. us. Of course. It was like eight people that had been there for three hours. Yeah. We were like, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. That was a good nightcap. We <laughs> yeah, it just absolutely <laughs> ruined the way to, yeah. It's a class, classic Raven trip. It's a classic you know I mean? Raven trip. Yeah. After it the Thursday night all show. The fun yeah. that you had that night. Yeah. yeah. The last thing you go to bed with. You yeah. question all your existence in comedy and life. Yeah. And then you do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Every, it's great. It, yeah. It was every night. 
No che. What, was the, what would the crowd look like? Well, like, what's Raven look like these days? You went up and assaulted them. I you did. I did. I said mean things. You didn't that, do that, any material. I, Chris, did, you just I did not. I did not. I did not. That used to be a thing that I did. I did that at Philly's Funniest. <laughs> <laughs> I did that at Philly's Funniest. I just went up and told the crowd. I was like, yeah. some guy yelled out, Samesies. And I went, fuck you. <laughs> And just completely melted down. Yeah, it was like dude. a compliment. Dude. Yeah. It was like being nice. Once Chris was, gets to a certain alcoholic level, he gets to that like the, the, the police chief just took his, <laughs> his gun and badge. <laughs> and he's, <laughs> he's, on, he's on like a weak bender. And it only takes for whiskey. It's only like two whiskeys. This boy gets a second whiskey and you just see his like he looks mm-hmm. over. Yeah, and I just like, start looking through my eyebrows. What the fuck? And then yeah. he'll whole fight you on anything. Nice. <laughs> and I, I always have to look at his class going, oh, I get it. That's I get a, it. I'll back off. That's a yeah. great trait for uh, relationships. Uh, I don't, I don't fight in relationships oh, no? really. No, nah, no, no, fake. no, no. I, I, what? <laughs> no, I, 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 I like, he I don't like, I on. don't like relationship. Are you big relationship fight? Do you like, do you scream and yell? No, no, no. I, I don't, I don't. What uh, do you do? What's your strategy? I don't, I don't like, to, I, you know, any relationship that I've ever been in where there was a lot of, where there was fighting, it ended immediately. Yeah. I can't, I can't handle that. Yeah. It's a good move. Yeah. I made the mistake a couple of times of sticking around. Yeah, because because you, you the fierceness you can you know mistake for passion and lust. Yeah, yeah. and it often leads to lust. Right, but sort that lust soon sex goes away with each other, and then it's just revenge fucking. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Where it's mm-hmm. like it's not real. There's no love, mm-hmm. and it's gonna happen again. <laughs> and then you're looking, you're searching for the love and the fuck going forward, and then you're like, there's no love in the fuck. There's no love in the in the living room. Why are we still doing this? Yeah. And you yeah. keep battling each other for one more year, possibly. Usually, there's a one one more year turnover. You go bowling one more time. Yeah. The conversation <laughs> dies, and it's just fights. Yeah, it's like the only way you know how to talk to each other anymore is yeah. just yelling. Yeah, in order to yeah to break the boredom. I fight. will I will say that I I even if I cause the fight psychologically or emotionally, I can admit it later on. Mm-hmm. But when it gets to a certain level of, of yelling or heightened sense of, of screaming, I just go, nope. I check out and I don't say anything. Yeah. And all they want is something. Yeah. Give me something back in mm-hmm. return. I won't keep elevating my anger and my voice if you fulfill my need to know why the fuck you did that. And I go, stop. Don't talk to me like that. Don't raise yeah. your voice and then I'm out. Dude, I, I, that's, one of the, that's pretty noble. I, I think that's... A, <laughs> it's the worst thing to do. No, no it is. It's, it, but you, also... I, you, not rising to the bait is a, a noble way to yeah, hold yourself. You're right. Well, yeah. there's... The, uh, the, one of my least favorite phrases is like, never go to bed angry. Yeah. I don't believe in it. How do you sleep? <laughs> what do you not mean? angry. <laughs> yeah, 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 first of all, how do you get to bed? <laughs> Second of all, no, it's me. just like, what, what about... I prefer sleep on it. Yes. The, the, every fight I've ever lost has taken place between the hours of two and four a.m. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, really, and, Dude, really, true. and and really, I've the only reason I lost them. The only reason dude, I lost I'm them undefeated because they four p.m. Yeah, 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 dude, I get gas. They drag you into deep water. They gas you. They just gas you out. You start going and chasing it, your own tail. Yeah, and you're just yeah. Like, Wait, have I said that? Yeah. <laughs> no, dude, yeah. it's like a it's, lion stalking a wounded elk. Like she knows when you're too drunk. Yeah, yeah. She knows when you're you're gonna drool and slip up and say something. <laughs> I know. Wrong. Yeah. Once once you start making like like you run into a couple dead ends yeah. and you're like you're like I gotta yeah. Let's just do this tomorrow. It's like I can't sleep like yeah. this. It's yeah. like you have to because <laughs> I can't I can't do it. I can't. Yeah. I'm gonna lose. Dude, yeah, that's so true. I mean, <laughs> I some of the best nights of sleep I've ever had came on the heels of a fight because you'll never sleep at more extreme. <laughs> Sides of the bed. Yeah, yeah right? yes. I mean, and you, <laughs> you have the more, there's most never space. more distance. You won't even know there's someone That's else so in funny. that bed. It, uh, you're turned the opposite way. Uh, there's a pillow fort down the middle. Depending on how this, how large the bed, the bed is, it's like yeah. how big the fight you want to start, <laughs> dude. And <laughs> if you're in like a twin, yeah. you're like you fucking whore. You started everything, uh, dude. And you like you're so ready to be done with the day. Like you just sprint into your subconscious. Yeah. You're like I've, I've never wanted to retreat into my brain. Yeah, behind my eyelids so bad god I, I do i have vivid memories of exactly what you said and you're so right dude i dude i i have a theory too that women women respect sleep less than men hmm. 
I think, because they have a lot of like. Well, they're usually doing it sober. <laughs> probably, probably why you only need like five, six hours. No, sober. but it's like their whole lives. They've always had to get up early and do hair and like makeup. <laughs> and like they always are like I got up. I rolled out of bed and went to school. You know what I mean? Yeah. I went. I waited to the 11th hour. <laughs> Every time to get up and just get there. <laughs> they always had to get up and prepare. Like they're, So they're used to like, they're just better. <laughs> they can go more days without sleep, I think, than we can. Mm. Mm. You know? Yeah. Like, and it's, that's why it's, it's like, just... and it, when you have to get up the next morning and they're taking you into a 3 a.m., 4 a.m. fight, it's like, you're not, you don't stand a chance, yeah. dude. Yeah. I, 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 when I'm so angry right now, even because I'm, I'm thinking about those situations where it's like, I have something to do in the morning and yes. I was out all night and mm -hmm. I know you weren't right. I know what you're doing. You want to handle this. And I'm just like, please, please. Can we do this tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Please can we do this tomorrow? Yeah. And when I elevate myself to the point where like, oh, fine, you want to do it? Yeah. And then if she gets anything in return, she'll go. And then I am up staring at the fucking ceiling. Yeah. Just live it. Well, I mean, this is why the wage gap is good. It <laughs> needs to, you know, yeah. <laughs> needs to until really, they learn how to fight at night drunk. You know, it's like four minutes to Mr. Ellis to, <laughs> <Yes>. to, <laughs> to land this plane. Start the timer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even have a point. No, I, just, really? I wanted to no, see how far we could get. Because right you dude. were like, well, I've been waking up a long time. Don't do their hair and makeup. And <laughs> I'm like, agreed. Let's see if we can keep moving the goalposts on this. <laughs> Anyway, how was the bowling uh, outside of that? Did you do well? Are you a good bowler? I think I, I think I did my normal thing where I like I uh, first round is terrible because I'm trying to get the spin down, and then I have like a couple, yeah, of a couple good rounds. It's like a round of golf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I either do really well on the front nine or the back nine. There's yeah. no, there's no both. Yeah. But it was fun, and it was like it was like the beginning of the apocalypse. So it was yeah. like there was like a. Whoa! I can't believe we're still doing shows yeah. tonight. That's kind of wild. There's also no hot teenagers like, seeing your gutter ball every like <laughs> yeah, third yeah, throw. Yeah, yeah. Well, I like about that place too is they have bubble hockey. Oh yeah, big fan. Bo love bubble hockey. I don't know what that is. It's like what? foosball, but yeah, with hockey. Know. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I just didn't yeah. know that was what that was called. Yeah, I think. What, what else is it called? Right, it's bubble hockey. Bubble hockey. Yeah. There's no other. I don't know that I had another name for it. I just know it when I see it. What did you? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like foosball, so hockey, hockey kind of. It's you know, and you're yeah, yeah. But you were never seeking it out. Like you never had to. You never were so desperate to play bubble hockey that you had <laughs> nobody to walk was. In. Where's, <laughs> what? Where's the bubble? Where's no. the bubble coming from? Yeah, it's in a bubble. <clears throat> it's in a plastic oh. dome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's the most... He has no idea what we're talking about. Oh, I sure do. <laughs> I sure do. Because the players spin, and you can spin them to hit slap yes. shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And yeah, they, I know. They're along little slots. Guy, yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's... I don't know. Well, listen. Bubble hunt. I when, feel like, like when spinning When the podcast starts, upon. you better yeah. get your shit together. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like spinning is frowned upon. I'm like sure in it is. foosball. I'm what? sure it is. Yeah. Where, did you, are you a foosball guy? No, pool? I'm not. Ping pong? Uh, I, like, I like pool. I like darts. Darts, darts, will, yeah, darts, yeah, is, darts are, are fun. Okay. Darts feels manly. Yes. yes. There's nothing that feels... I mean, you look at the highlights of the World Dart Championship. Yes. And it's some fat, necklace, yes. British, yeah. Yeah. pasty amoeba. <laughs> yep. And backed by an announcer Glassed with more eyes. enthusiasm than anyone yeah. at the World Cup. Yes. And, you know, he's... He's just... I mean, they're automatic. And you're yeah. like, how does that skill come from that body? Yeah. Because um, that's all they do. It's yeah, all it's just all they right do. here. It's not a skill. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, repetition. <laughs> like crew. True. We've already been through this. I was, you're a uh, lacrosse guy, right? Were you yeah. a crew guy? No, no, look at me. What am I, fucking coxswain? I'm 5'10". You can't be a crew guy. They're all giant l lurches. No, yeah. I think you'd be a good crew guy. At what? Yelling at people? I would be a good no, coxswain. I think, I think you could Because they're the skinny cocksuckers that sit in the top and, and dog yeah, you, They right? need to be even be smaller. Great coxswain. They need to be yeah. smaller than you. Yeah, they're, they're like really jockeys. Really small. Yeah, they're, they're like tiny jockeys, little. Yeah. yeah. You don't want oh, them to you know, weigh anything because they're not doing any work. Richie Redding was a, was a coxswain at Penn. No way. Yeah. Mm. Funny little little comic. He's no. not little that anymore, though. He's not. He's like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, he's not He's not tiny. Maybe he's I, yeah. just really skinny. Yeah, yeah. He's probably a real thin... Yeah, I can see him weighing like 120 pounds. Dude, when you hit exactly what you're looking for on a dartboard, it's the most fulfilling yeah. 
it's it's like hitting a ball out of the park. Yeah, a double or a triple is really. Uh, yeah, if I just like for the a double, sound that. Yeah. Thump, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. When it slips through the cork and hits with like the wood behind yeah, it, dude. that thump. What do like, you guys play? Do you play cricket? I yeah. do cricket and baseball. Baseball's yeah. great. What's the baseball one again? Baseball's one through nine, and you accumulate points. Oh, cool! You just go in every inning. You ever play the? Um, the we're subtracting from five hundred one. I did that once, and so I was like, never gets, again. The math gets too confusing. Yeah. Yeah. It takes forever. You're, all, to yeah. you're drinking in you... some shitty bar. Who the fuck is <clears throat> adding all this up with chalk? Difficult subtraction. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. me and some pillhead from fucking Clifton Heights going like, now you got four forty four. It's like <laughs> count it again, you fucking ape. Sober math is bad enough. Drunk math is a nightmare. Mm. Those it's just three one two lines in a circle. You yeah. know who you yeah. know who's not uh, typically very good at math? Women. <laughs> You guys thought we were done, but we're not. No, they, they actually are. It doesn't work for them, you know. It, is, it doesn't come easily. To <laughs> well, they're not. They're not good at high level mathematics. <laughs> like, see, he's fucking around with this. Is going to be. But serious. they they are really good at like doing like long complicated problems. Like like doing like like intense. Yeah. Like again, same with the fighting to dragging <laughs> in deep water. They can do like like that's why the whole hidden figures people got going because oh. women can do like like really like long laborious calculations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're fucking better than anyone else at. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. complicated <laughs> weird Cause they physics because yeah. they're used to getting up early in the morning, right? <laughs> yeah. doing you know, their hair. They're I, grinders. Women are grinders. I wish I'd met you earlier because I haven't met in a life. guy who knew women as well as you. <laughs> yeah. I haven't. And yeah. if you'd been around to explain to uh, me, you know, why things 100%. weren't going well, yeah. God, I'd have a better relationship with my yeah, mother. No, I would have. You, know. you as a no, you listen to the wrong podcast, and you can wind up spouting a lot of this bullshit. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a bunch of stuff rattling around in there that it's like actually 3D modeling women are bad at in their brains. That's why they're like not really good drivers. <laughs> Isn't that everyone's like makeup in their in their mind? No, I think they there hear... are actually like genetic differences between men and women, and they're like the way their brains function. Like supposedly, supposedly, like uh, f fine motor skills, women have like much better fine motor skills. Like what? Because they can't run. I know women can't run, but that's not a fine motor skill. What is they're motor going, skill? They're like going fast. This would be like this would be like Sewing typing or <laughs> like yeah yeah like fine like handwork yeah. <laughs> you said run needlepoint. <laughs> Yeah, Legos. Yeah, that dude. I thing? said one time I, I went They're on a rant. Typing, <laughs> secretary work. I went on a rant about like how, like when you just see girls jogging on the street. I'm yeah. like, one in a hundred looks like they have form, and it's like that's an athlete. Yeah, yeah. The rest of them look like they tripped an hour ago and they're still falling. <laughs> <laughs> I know. There's a lot of dudes <laughs> like that too. There's a lot of dudes. Of course, but yes. let me finish. <laughs> serious it drives me wild watching women run and I, I i went on this rant to somebody somebody before and i clearly liked him and agreed with him because yeah. he was like oh evolution he was like hunters gatherers we've we we have thousands of years practice ahead of them running with agility hand-eye coordination you know yeah and balance and they're just catching up because they're always like hanging clothes and making masa and shit <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> so but I bet they did a lot of scrambling and scurrying. Yeah, dodging darts from like neighboring <laughs> yeah, yeah, dudes. Yeah, yeah. yeah mm. trying to take the yeah. bus. Running with babies and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Um, uh, you know. It'd probably be great at football. <laughs> <laughs> or dodgeball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what I've gotten into a lot lately is, um, is there's a very fine line between when I see someone exercising between me thinking like what what's the fucking point yeah and good for you yeah yeah Chris very says the same thing. very fine yeah. line between like you shouldn't even be trying yeah and um, um, it's <clears throat> at least you're trying yes. yeah yeah there's a there is a middle zone that I, yeah because the like that's the bottom end is like dude don't even bother yeah and like you know what fuck yeah you're turning around and the top end is like damn that dude's fucking jacked yeah, and strong yeah. as fuck. Yeah, but and even then that. there's and then beyond that is like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah. why are You're you that hurt jacked? yourself? Yeah. That's destroying your body. That's why are, too much. Why weight. are you squatting yeah. three fifteen? <laughs> you work at a Starbucks. You know? <laughs> I know, yeah. Like, how many fucking caramel lattes are on your back? Yeah, <laughs> stop doing that shit. Yeah, like with their knee wraps and all that shit. Do you guys exercise? 
Yeah, yeah. I exercise. You, you can do? see my yeah. yeah, Kim. Yeah, look, dude. Oh, that's awesome. My legs are my tight jeans, just like you. That's awesome. We're all wearing the same color pants, by the way. Huh? Yeah, it's been. It's, oh, really? It's, it's been a about. thing. Just shades. You're fucking shades. gray. You're, you're yoked. You're very, very lean, boy. Uh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't see you drinking too many beers and making mistakes like with like food and and hookers too often. Um, I'm trying to think. No, not hookers. <laughs> I don't know why I threw that in there. Um, I just saw your face. You know, it. I'm afraid of hookers. Really? Yeah. Like that's the most misogynist thing that we've <laughs> <laughs> been said on this I, podcast. I, yeah. I, I, I've always, my whole life, I've kind of been too afraid to have sex with. A hooker. I think that's a healthy fear. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the afraid. unhealthy one is just being like, I <laughs> yeah. feel no, it's super fine. safe. But, but everyone, everyone I know that has been with a hooker describes the experience as being so transactional and yeah. almost like, yeah. uh, you know, what's the word? Like uh, when when someone's a doctor scrubs in, they're becoming yeah, 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 antiseptic yeah, yeah. Yes, or like yes, it's so it is so like that. Yeah, clean well, here, and here's the thing. In my opinion, I'll say that again. In my opinion. We're talking about base level sex workers. Uh So when you go from $20 to $200, they are dealing with all the riffraff. Mm. They're not expecting to come into the the foliage, the nice lighting of an apartment (laughs) like this. Right. Oftentimes, they're just getting drugged into a Mitsubishi Galant with one working speaker <laughs> blaring fucking Jimi Hendrix. It's true. And just getting knocked off by some dude who hasn't bathed in three weeks. <laughs> yeah. Well, so... Hold on, I'm not done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's think, more details no, to this fictional story. It's not fictional. It's real. <laughs> I watch a lot of hooker documentaries. Yeah. And the, the high-end sex worker situation is like, it, it's a dream. It's yeah. a very beautiful woman. You're not worried about her teeth falling out mm-hmm. midway, and she's just like a well put together person that's making a lot of money. Yeah, like a like a hot uh, OnlyFans model or something, right. who's going to your hotel, which is also high end. She mm-hmm. knows she has a high end client. It's less dangerous on her behalf. So they have she's less not, clients. She's not fucking making, nuts. Yeah, she's probably not on fucking drugs. A lot mm-hmm. of them are just to medicate to get through all the bullshit. You get to like the thousand dollar client if you have the money. It's a different emotional experience. You feel like you're buying a date. That's the whole escort. Off for it. We're talking like now escort we're talking now. Yeah. yeah, the levels there. So don't just group them all in like women. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a nuance. Well, you yeah. know, I, I, I uh, back in my day before I knew it was wrong, um, I would go to the rub and tucks. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. and um, I always felt like when I would go it's in there, wrong. they would always tell me, you know, oh wow. You have such a nice, such Don't a nice body. Don't be doing that voice. I'm not doing the we'll body. Have to cut yeah, it. I yeah, left yeah. the article in there, which <laughs> yeah. they omit. Yeah. Which means it's not racist. I said you have such a nice body, yes. yeah. as opposed to you have nice body, right? Which is what they actually said. True. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay. So you have such a nice body, and uh, you know, <laughs> to the point where it, it occurred to me that like the the majority of their clientele are these. Bottom feeding, yes, lost, of course, just sluggish men, to the point where I realized me going in there, I'm, I'm doing them a favor. That's how I think. I'm, I am their treat. <laughs> Congrats. I'm the recess portion of their day, dude. Yeah, and that's why I don't tip. Yes, <laughs> yeah. this is how I feel about like you know Uber drivers. Are like if I get eighty in this this week, I get two hundred fifty dollars bonus. You know, once a week, I think a decent looking dude comes in their brothel and they're like. Got Hell it. Yeah. I yeah. deserve this. I put the 80 hours in before this guy walked mm-hmm. in and I'm having a normal looking dude yeah. whose breath doesn't smell like beef jerky and shit mm-hmm. and uh, we're going to have a good time. And, <laughs> yeah, and you're yeah. welcome. Yes. Yeah. That's really what it comes down to. You start making up stuff in your head. Yeah. She's like, she's actually enjoying this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, this is my community service. I know this is supposed to be like a <laughs> disgusting thing that she doesn't like doing, but this moment for her... Dude, I'm the best part of her after time. after after 15 other hand jobs. There's a jerking me off is going to be <laughs> exciting. Yeah, a thrill yeah. ride. You write a little note on the napkin. <laughs> Great time, baby. <laughs> Keep believing in yourself. As soon as you get off the exit on 676, uh, uh, Center City on 95. Yeah, there's a Westies Pub. I don't know if you know know this. It's still there. But there used to be a brothel above Westie's Pub. Okay. So you go into this bar, and after a certain time, usually like midnight, 
like a couple girls would, you know, come down the chimney. Yeah. The whore <laughs> chimney or whatever. <laughs> They would just ro- roll out of this fucking condom <laughs> chimney. Santa Claus. Yeah. And then they would just walk up to each person almost like a strip joint. Like the way a stripper <clears throat> knocks on your forehead to pay her a dollar for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I can so, so vividly so see that. Actually, somebody has to look at you and go, hey, these girls I know appeared out of nowhere because the door's right there. There's only one door. And so I'm yeah. like looking at the rafters and the AC units, like how the fuck did these girls get down here? And then they just talk to you and you put some money on, the, <laughs> on your napkin, disappear into the abyss with this yeah. girl. She's fucking soaping you up in some cold water. Yeah. Westy's Pub, shout out Westy's Pub, great burger and wings. <laughs> it is the thing where you go outside for a cigarette or something, you look at this newspaper over the windows, you're like, something's going something on. Something is going Also, what a fucking terrible way to do it. Oh, yeah. I would put a plant... <laughs> Hold on, if you put a fake plant, maybe a candle, like like Christmas time, <laughs> and then you black out beyond the plant, and just, then it could just be mayhem. You could be have fucking fist and anal sex, and I just, nobody would uh, know. I would just love your boss being like, Tommy, we're running a whorehouse. Yeah. I'm not putting candles Stop and plants the candles. anywhere. You know how much money we spent in candles down. last month? <laughs> Here's a question. Have you ever fit your entire fist inside a person? No. No. I've been requested one time to do that, to keep going with more fingers. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. Cause I, I did like the old, the old, uh, fucking stretching a rubber band. I did yeah. the old road cone to like a certain length. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The old road cone. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Yeah. All right. The fucking, <laughs> the, yeah. The tropical beak. I went tropical beak all the way to like knuckle two. And I was like, this is too much. Dude. The old yeah, shadow yeah. puppet. Yeah. yeah. It felt like I was trying to reach into a, a mail slot. Yeah. Yeah. Like, grab something. Like, I was just close to it's reaching. It's like when someone extends their arm and their elbow goes like up. Yeah. You're yeah. Like, Stop. You're trying Stop. To, you're trying Stop to Stop doing that. fetch Stop a bag of Doritos that. that hasn't fallen all the way out <laughs> of a vending machine. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like fucking getting that middle bone out of operation, <laughs> 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 but with your whole hand in her ass. No, that's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> what's what's you what what's you out of control when you mm. lose it? Oh gosh, sexually? It's no, it's, just any 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 area of life. <sighs> I, well, you Wh- know. what's what's you go? What's a moment where you go, Francis? Whoa, dude! Because guys like this do, with this uh, demeanor, do I know who I am anymore? That's a good question. That's a very good question. When's the last time you flew off the handle? Well, I mean, there's there's two answers. One is a sexual like an answer. You yeah. Know? Okay. Where you just when I was much younger, you know, where you you get you you you're with somebody who is like clearly has no has farther boundaries than you do. Yeah. And you're like, okay, well, I have some items to check off. That I have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you, are you if, talking about getting your ass eaten? I mean, whatever. I'm just like any any uh, any number of. There's no. The sky's the limit, and you you learn within minutes. <laughs> I thought you said a guy's that the limit. this person that you're with is like willing Way, to yeah. be your <clears throat> kind of box checker. Yes. Yeah. And is and has already checked all those boxes herself, and is like that's her speed. Like every sexual partner that she has. Yeah. This this is her normal trip around the bases. Right. Can I and, ask you a question? Mm-hmm. Was she older? Uh. Well, I mean, I'm trying to think. Uh, w- w- yeah, I've had a few. I, I look back. There were a couple times where, like, I quickly realized, oh, you're so much more depraved than I am. <laughs> but uh, who am I to judge? And like, yes. you know, now let's uh, like let's see what that's about. You know, yeah. and whatever. Uh, and one one of the women certainly was, yeah. I have a theory on this. Uh, I, Chris and I like to start conversations like yeah. that right? <laughs> very awkwardly. I have a theory on this. Yeah. I think mature women <clears throat> are not <clears throat> not depraved as you think. <clears throat> Excuse me. Liberated. I let's think say. mature women, the bell curve of sexual experiences as a young person, and your interest in sexual experiences as a young person are heightened all the way to like 30, 40. And whatever you look back at the top of that bell and you look back and go, I f- wanted it. I felt it. I didn't do it. On the bottom end, you're like, I only have 10, 50 more years to either jump back on this side of the curve age-wise or fuck it, do it with anybody. But I've got to go back to those boxes and check them. Mm. So it's not about 
I'm so hungry. I want to do weird things to you. They always had it in their mind. Uh, sex, yeah. Sexual exploration yeah. mm-hmm. starts when you're 17, 16, 15 years old, when you're jerking off on your mattress, you know, mm-hmm. it, it's, it's always the same thing. You just build this repertoire of imagination and imaginative sexual exploits. And then if you don't experience it all the way through getting married, <clears throat> that's why divorced older women are ravenous. Mm. It's like, dude, slow down. Not only were they trapped in a marriage that didn't explore, they always had this fucking, this egg of desire mm. to hit <laughs> all of those boxes. <laughs> and now it's cooking. Because that dude's had fucking Frank's out of the picture. Frank joined the Dartley. Frank's, <laughs> Frank fucked off and joined the Dartley. Now she can go, I'm getting it all. Mm-hmm. And if I can find a young stud to <clears> fucking <throat> let, let me play with him, I'll check off all those boxes that I always wanted. And he can check off boxes before he even knows he wanted them. Yeah, but it's tough because it's like when you're on... You know, when you don't have any of the crazy, you don't know any of the, how to do any of the crazy shit. Yeah. Then they, they're like, let's get fucking nuts. And well, you're like, fucking- I don't know how to do that. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> so you're intimidated. we're going to stumble through this. Yeah. Well, what, how, what level of like, cra- again, well, think of, think of this, right? So when you're young, as a young man, you know, you, you, I, I, used, I remember being very nervous to try things sexually. And, and there were times, even as a young man, where I, I, I knew, that I, I, there were things that I was, you know, like a woman w- would want me to, f- you know, finger her or something like that. And I was too scared to do it. I'm talking about high school, whatever. Yeah. And, you know, you kind of gain confidence as you go. But a lot of the time, I feel like more experienced women were prodding me forward. Yeah. Pushing me forward. Being yeah. like, I've been here. It's no big deal. Go ahead. And yeah. that's the way it has to go. Yeah, of course. Of yeah. course. Um, <laughs> Otherwise, you're like... This thing I'm about to do might be a crime. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you, know you decide can, after, you're, you're, after it's done. Yeah, you just led <laughs> Whether along, I've committed a crime right. here or not. I will say that every new sexual experience I, I have had in my life, I would think, was typically led by the woman, and I would assume she had already done it. Yeah. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like every new frontier, every new horizon, whatever... We're the last generation to think this way because I think the younger people, you can't assume they've already done it because they already saw it. Mm-hmm. You, you you don't go through jerking off through a J.C. Penny catalog to learn how to eat ass. That's not in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? These young kids in high school can just watch this on their on their phone. They yeah, go, but, I want to try that. <clears throat> yeah. But I agree with you. I think at a certain point coming up at 25 to 30, you're like, oh, this girl. And you worried about that chick. If that chick was aggressive, I'd be like, oh, dude, geez, make sure you wrap it up. Yeah, but it's yeah. like I watch people play pro hockey. I can't go out and play pro hockey. True, but you, you know at least what I mean? know the steps. You get on it. skates, you're a little wobbly. <laughs> I think you're, 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 you're making regular sex very complicated. And it's just an aggressive form of regular sex. You're talking about like mild choking. As play, I think in general, like anytime pulling, there's anytime shit I like that, anytime That's, I stumble or there's like the like rhythm is off, I I, <clears> I start to just I can't do this anymore. Yeah, you're a heady dude though. Yeah, yeah. Well, if I like, if I, I, you I bump heads or you like, <laughs> you bump you do, heads. I don't know, you do something that clumsy. Yeah. Anytime something clumsy happens, it's like. <laughs> This whole thing's got to stop. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do this. Let's thing. reset. This is ridiculous. Yeah, let's get some yeah. coffee this and we'll is figure in my it out. Sp- <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm rolling over and going to bed. You know, it occurred to me. So I'm engaged. <laughs> yeah. Um, And it occurred to me recently, like, what you know, one of my favorite things in the world now is just having, you know, unprotected sex with my fiance because... <laughs> I have. I'm now in a place. NPR, dude. Just, yeah. No, just, you know, you'll hear why. And the reason is that if we were to get pregnant, it would be okay. Yeah. Right. That's the first time in my life. Oh, okay. Where that's been the case. Yeah. And I feel like. Yeah. I've made it. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty-three years old, no illegitimate children, yeah. as far as I know, no, yeah. you know, abortions, like whatever. Yeah. Um. I'm I'm safe. I'm in the end zone. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Like, one hundred percent. What a relief! It is. I imagine it is the nice. unprotected sex, knowing that it would be okay, <clears throat> makes the flesh the flesh. Even if you have unprotected sex when it's not okay, which I did recently, where like it could become a baby, you're still 
no matter how drunk you, or high you are, you're still conscious mm. in that moment going, remember, you know, the fucking juice might come out yeah. at any time. Yeah. <laughs> Even though your body's like, ding, 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 here it comes. You don't know that. And then, like, if a girl jumps back on, it's like, there's still some juice in the tunnel. Yeah. They don't get that concept either. They don't get, there's a lot <laughs> it's not they all don't getting get. getting out of there, dude. There's a I, lot they don't get. And. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, I don't know. Man. I feel like I can't yeah. wait till Chris comes up with a, a with a lady title for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> women, on they're women. just different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't live with them. Can't live without them. <laughs> <Adam. laughs> I'm pregnant. <laughs> I, I like. I've been in relationships like that where I like got to a place where I was like, I, you know what, I would be okay having a kid with this person. Really? Yeah. And I like. Wait, you mean it, while fucking? <laughs> no, because I've done that's those. where the first time I, I thought swear it. To yeah, God, yeah, I've but, done that too. But no, I've 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 been in that place, and it does make you hornier. In my, in my mind, yeah, the fucking is better because you're like, I could, like, having a kid would be almost cool. Yeah, I I can't say that I I can't say that I ever had that thought until my fiance. Yeah, I wouldn't. Really? I've never had that thought. No one thinks really? like that. I, the, Why? The, the, at best, at best, it was I trust that they take their birth control at the same time every day. Yeah, I don't so know. So the it's... efficacy of their birth control is, is as high. as You ever been in a be. crazy relationship where, like, you you worried they were actually taking the birth control? Where you got to a point in your relationship where it was like year two, year three, and they really want to be with you, and it's it's evident it's not going the path that they want, and you really get worried about. I got in a situation where I got worried about like. Just having normal sex. Am I going to get tricked? Yeah, because I have a couple friends. Obviously. Yeah. Anytime a woman's like, I know it can possibly happen. It can happen. But like, I'm talking about crazy girls, not regular people. Crazy yeah. girls where like the, yeah. tri- the guy's trying to get out of the relationship. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden it's like, having a baby with her, I guess we're going to get married. Yeah. It's like, dude, what? Yeah. I that's had, bad. I had one. That's really bad. I had you one... know people that that happened to? Yes. Really? Yeah. Yes, I know. I know t- that there was sabotage. There was subterfuge. I think, and all of our friends think that's what happened. And Good then Lord. they went on to have like a second baby, because this woman's whole objective was just to have children. Yeah, and the relationship was not healthy. And what are the, are the kids? The kids look cool. Whole of what? Do the kids look cool. Do they look cool? Yeah. Like how do they dress? Yeah, they're pretty good dressed. <laughs> No, I think it. No, I think about it. Because yeah. that's the like, yeah. That I was like, well, having a child is selfish in itself. You just want a little mini you to look cool. So, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. a very selfish thing. And then yeah. you just post pictures of your kids wearing clothes that you like. Mm. Yeah, it's a fucked up. But then the actual taking care thing. of them is is. Can, that's where you'd fuck. I don't know why you want to have a child. Can I? Get no, I'd be great, beer? Dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Oh, hold, go, hold, yeah. Hold, 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 hold. yeah. Yeah. I'll get it. I'll get yeah. it. Yeah. He needs a break. He's gonna get in trouble with the kid. You've never been fucking a girl and been like, "This, this would be a cool person. We'd make a cool looking kid." I think, oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Like this kid would look fucking dope. Yeah, no, that's not what I'm saying. Like visually, I see people on the street of like, our kid would be beautiful. (laughs) I'd like to make a cool looking kid and dress the fucker. I get it. Do you think about specifically what features? Yes. What mix of features they would have? Yeah. Fat black asses and. And black breasts, because I want a curly-haired, light-skinned kid that's going to take over the movie industry. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I always, <laughs> dude, no joke, because that's how, I mean that's the future of, of all of television. But um, it's not a big deal. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I, I always worry about a girl getting my nose. <laughs> like if I had a baby girl and she had my nose, what's, wrong, like, what's wrong with your nose? You got a nice nose. What? What's wrong with your nose? I don't think I have a hot chick nose. Well, you're, it depends on who you. She's not gonna get it. You your have a nose. Fine. Ch- yeah, your nose is fine. <laughs> you have the chickiest nose here. Look at these beefs. I've got a big. You got nose. a Roman nose. I had my nose. You got a nice, you got nose. A nice my nose. nose. I told this on Shane's pod, but I got beat up by a lobsterman, broke my nose so severely, didn't get it fixed. It looks better. I've since had a very traumatic rhinoplasty. What? <laughs> Sorry, dude. No, I, I'm with you. I, I'm, it's, <laughs> dude, it's, I mean, it. Dramatic right off. Well, it was supposed to be like a. I don't know how bad the pain was, but it was I've worth I've never it. heard those two words many, combined. You got a great have doctor. You guys had, have you guys had a lot of surgeries in your lives? No, I should no. have gotten my nose done. 
Why? Stop talking about your nose. What's your nose with you is and fine. your all right, goddamn all right. I, nose? I, guys, I'm not that self conscious about my nose. Oh, I'm you saying have a deviated I, septum? I broke it when I was a kid. I was playing tag with my brother and my friends, and uh, like I got tagged, but I went to like jail or whatever, and they put a baseball bat behind my like head like this and through my arms and as I was walking into my house I tripped and fell into <laughs> slate stairs oh, no. slate stairs and fucking cracked it and it was just gushing blood and then my my friends had locked the door was the bat, was the bat still locked yeah in? yeah my friends had locked Good the door <laughs> yeah yeah my friends had locked the door and uh like they were like locking me out and I was like pounding on the window <laughs> And they were like, they were like, we're not opening it. And we had these little, like these little, I guess blinds, but they were like these little things covering like the windows on the side of the door. And uh, I'm like pounding on it. And I remember my friend, being like, like I could hear him laughing. And then he pulled the blind back just and saw, saw me like just, and he was like, ah! <laughs> he freaked the fuck out. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So dude. what happened? So I can't breathe I, out of my nose, really. So I had, I had broken my nose badly, but I didn't get it fixed. So all of the whole nose had shifted, and all the bones had healed around the left nostril and closed it. So I for, for like probably eight years of my life, I could not breathe out of my left nostril. And the only reason that I realized that this was a, a real problem was that the first time I ever did cocaine... Yeah. I did it through my working nostril and everyone and the people I was with were like, now do the other nostril if you're going to do more. And I tried and I was just sitting out. over it and like nothing was, the line wasn't going anywhere. And I was like, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm trying. And they're like, what, what are you doing? Like, do it, you <laughs> bitch. You're wasting our And coat. I'm like, I'm just going to do the right one again. Um, so all the, whatever, I had to go get a surgery to, to get it fucking cause they were. They told me that. Um, what do they take? Just like a chisel and fucking. Do they? I'm. I'm telling you. They tell you like if you're if you can't breathe out of one of your nostrils, then you're all night every all sleeping. I'm doing with my mouth open, yeah. and oh, I'm dehydrated open, when oh, I wake up in the morning yeah. every single morning because yeah. I'm breathing out of my mouth. Yeah, like you have a cold, and so I got it done my nose, and uh, the guy broke it, and I'm telling you, I think he broke it with like a hammer. Yeah. I mean, it was like, look, we're going to start from scratch. Were you up? No. Fully out. But the surgery took nine hours. What? It was like a super long surgery. And the problem is you're lying flat on your back. And they have, I think, like a va They do the surgery, but all your, your septum feeds into your stomach. Right. So all the blood, there's so much capillaries and stuff oh in your my face. All God. the blood goes into your stomach. Oh, shit blood. And then at the end of the surgery, they're supposed to, I think, vacuum all the blood out of your stomach because your 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 stomach cannot digest blood. Yeah. It's a really interesting thing where like if you're if there's a lot of blood in your stomach, your body uh, has this warning mechanism of being like, "Hey, something inside you is bleeding," so stop and so you throw out. you throw it up. I yeah. disagree with almost every step of this process. <laughs> well, they they forgot to be vacuum drill. the blood. And they should have one of those hoses, like when you're at the dentist to take the saliva. It agreed. should just be like hooked around the back of your nose, just sucking that shit up. Yeah, and they and they just didn't do that, or they didn't get it all. And I remember waking up. You know, they're waking you up. They're like kind of smacking you in the face or whatever. <laughs> and they're like, "Wake up, wake up, get up!" But they're hitting and your I'm nose. Like, Where the fuck am I? My face is packed with gauze, and I'm in the recovery room area. And I'm telling my my mom's there and the doctors, and they're like, "Okay, you're good to go." And I'm like, "I cannot. I'm so nauseous." <laughs> Like, I cannot go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. I'm not ready to go. And they're like, well, you got to go. And so we, we get in an Uber and we went down the <laughs> west side. I was Mount Sinai Hospital. hospital, And we went to my sister's apartment in like 18th and 5th. And we walked in. We got out of the Uber. I'm sick the whole way. And I get up into her apartment and was in like went into the bathroom and grabbed a, a, a metal waste basket oh, no. and I brought it to my face so quickly because I was I was about to throw up and I smashed my face my nose with the metal waste basket bringing it to my face and as I threw up all this blood from my stomach <laughs> all the packing in my nose Flies came out. out because I was throwing up so violently so all the packing and I'm talking tons of gauze that's packed way deep in oh your nose, my god comes out of my nose 
Uh, this is surgery that ended an hour before. <laughs> oh my! And my face is is pouring blood, you know, as if it, as if there's a tap. It's, oh, it's bleeding like the, like the Bud Dwyer suicide. Oh Dude, my! It's, there's blood God. coming out of my nose and my mouth in like in a way where I thought I I'm like if if we don't stop this I will die. die yeah, yeah. That, that's the only time I've ever had that level of of blood. Yeah, and um. My sister like came in at that moment. My mom was with me and my sister's like, how did it go? And she's like, we are not in a good place. You need to call 911. And so we called, we called an ambulance and they brought me back to the hospital. Holy and they shit. had to fucking stuff it. Oh, that was hell. Did you, Stuffing uh, the gauze back yeah, up my God. nose. They didn't put you back under for that shit. No, but like I was so raw. I mean, my nose, uh. keep in mind, my nose is in shambles. Like, <laughs> it's got yeah. metal stints or something in it. Like it was, uh, oh dude, my. your face is so sensitive yes. in that area. And oh, that that was that's what I remember from my nose job. <clears throat> How's you know, it feel now? Breathing good? So fixed. And I have to say it was worth it because yeah. of the results. But uh I I just when I think of like I know I know, you know, Instagram influencer model girls who have gotten nose jobs and they're like, Yeah, man, it's it's tough for a couple of days, you know. Yeah, fuck And I'm you. like, I went through fucking war. <laughs> yeah. Like that Purposeful. was the worst <clears throat> wound I've ever had. Well that's yeah, covered I... because it's not considered cosmetic, right? So you got a little insurance help? Whereas I if, think so, yeah. Yeah. I think I did. If it's yeah. just cosmetic, they're like, You pay for it, you pig. The ultimate irony of that was that in that same surgery, they there was an ear, nose, throat doctor who had taken, I had two procedures done under the same anesthesia. And uh, I had these polyps on my vocal cords, which were making me very hoarse, just from like talking on stage all the time. Yeah. yeah. And so he went in first and just scraped those off. And then the nose thing started. And then they biopsied. When they, whenever they take something out of your body, they bi- send it to yeah. the lab. So they biopsied the polyps and they came back as cancerous tumors. And this was while I was doing Barstool Idol at Barstool. So this was like a, a month after that surgery. And on the third day of that competition was when I found out that they had discovered cancer on my on my throat. Cancer cell. Holy they, shit. That, they, yeah. and, and I went to the hospital to get the news. I went back up to Mount Sinai. <sighs> Get the news from the ear, nose, and throat doctor. Doctor Peak Wu was his name. Okay, and then I came back. Did he say you have a nice I, body? <laughs> <laughs> I was definitely the best part of his. But day. your throat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I got back to Barstool, and uh, I had like I had been crying because I had to tell my parents, you know, that I had yeah. cancer. Yeah, and I went on Kevin Clancy's radio show as like a test thing because we were all like auditioning for the the job and he was like are you okay and i was like no man i don't know i just got some really weird news he goes i swear to god he goes you're not about to tell me you have cancer are you and i was like i think so oh my god and then uh it became this thing where it was like i had been diagnosed with cancer on day three of this five-day competition and i sort of like ran with it and sort of turn it into content and <laughs> like i it's won the only thing you can do yeah, yeah i won the contest won the job and then two weeks later that doctor called and said they had discovered that the tests that they had found the cancerous malignancies in had female dna and belonged to a woman and they had swapped my sample oh my god in the mount sinai lab with hers oh my god and so I, this poor woman was told she doesn't have cancer either and they had, they had to call her up and she wasn't even in an idol contest yeah she wasn't even winning money <laughs> yeah dude either Guess either what? either she had cancer got my clean sample and was like miraculously you're cured oh my god and then they had to go back on that or she didn't know she had cancer and found out like um, like three weeks later than Holy she should have. Holy shit. In which case, that's the person who should be suing. Because everyone's like, you should sue. You were falsely diagnosed with cancer. Yeah. But the point of this is Portnoy <laughs> and the whole crew over there ran with the narrative that I had faked cancer to get a job at Barstool. Shut and the that f- plagued me for like the first year and a half that I was there. So you were you able to provide... Did you get Pete to- Wu on the, on the horn? I... 
dude, I, I'm not kidding you. I got the uh, the lab report from Mount Sinai, the, uh, and and I got them to fax it to me. I scanned it, and then I blogged it to yeah. prove that I wasn't lying, and yeah. nobody cared. Yeah. They were no, like, you you made this document they up They doubled yourself. down saying like... They thought it was funnier yeah, that yeah. I would have faked cancer. They it's, thought that was a funnier like thing. Yeah. So, so they ran with that. This, is a, this, this is played a, into your firing. I, I, no. Not, by the time I got fired, all of that had been... Nobody cared about that anymore. Water was always the bridge. On the back it was a rough start. Let's put it that way. It was always on the back of your mind and in your fucked up nose that they, they didn't treat you right. <laughs> <laughs> that is... That is... That is... That is... That is an important lesson in comedy. Whatever's funniest is true. Yeah. 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 That's all that matters. Yeah. yeah. If you can get hit by a bus and somehow come out without any major industry, uh, injury, you're like, I got a new bit. Yeah. And, and But I always <laughs> I wondered. I smoked by a fucking septa bus. Would I have been served better comedically owning what they were telling me I had done? Uh, that yeah. I had faked cancer. Being like, no. that's right, I did, motherfuckers. No way. And this is how far no I way. took it. <laughs> yeah, no way. I got a doctor to no. make a fake lab report. Right. That I, yeah, yeah, because yeah. I think I think that's so dark that if I had owned it or like pretended like no, I had you done couldn't, that, you couldn't, you can't. Then I would have. Well, it that would you had to fight. That mars your character beyond comedy, and that's just not worth it. That's yeah. That's yeah. Like so costs. then you do. Then you agree there is a limit. Oh yeah, no, there's a hundred percent a limit. Yeah. I'm yeah. just saying that that's a painful, like that's a painful thing to realize is that whatever, like people will run with whatever is the funniest thing or the yeah, most sensational agreed. thing, and not what's true because, <clears> and even if you're like, no, 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 it's all fake. They're like, yeah, yeah, but. This is such a good bit. <laughs> yeah, right. This right. is such a good bit that we're gonna keep hammering. Juice it. is worth the squeeze. Yeah. yeah, I feel. I mean, there there absolutely are people like that. They're just gonna fake cancer for likes and attention. Yeah, which is insane. Yeah, it's yeah. Wasn't that, what about behavior. that? Isn't that one kid who got that like HBO special? Didn't he kind of do that? Who? who that? There was oh, a kid. Yes. There was a kid who got like an was HBO like a special. Comic? Said he was dying. Yeah, yeah, and he was on Ellen. And like yeah. got an HBO special, and then uh, and then he was like fine. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, he said like he had like a couple years to live or some shit. Yeah. A very limited amount of time, and his his wish was to have a comedy special. Oh my yeah. God. And everyone yeah. was like, "Let's get fucking Charlie a special." <laughs> and then this dude's just ripping and roaring in Chicago right now. It's in Chicago, I think. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how well he's doing or if he's even doing comedy he's at all. Dead. <laughs> yeah, he probably actually is dead. I don't. I don't know. I don't know this what's is going story on. He would have ran. This is three again years the thing ago. where it's like, <laughs> like, like a couple. Yeah, it's like this will just come up in conversation every once in a while, and they're like, and someone will just tell you something. And you'd be like, yeah, that's okay. You know, they're like, no, his, the, like he had this other type of like, it's cancer technically, but it's not actually, you'll get like stuff like that. Yeah, I don't you. You're like, I don't know. Is there, I don't is care. there a version of that? Give anyone yeah. the fucking special. Yeah. Who yeah. cares? None of it matters. He did open it by saying, I better die. Otherwise people are going to be mad. Oh my God. <laughs> did? He did open this special, I think saying that, which is Who funny. was this guy? I don't know. Uh, you could I forget look his name. Yeah, Actually, there's no real way to tell. I think he's changed his name or something. Yeah. Huh. Huh. <laughs> it was a black dude, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I oh, interesting. I'll look it up. We'll, we'll talk so, about it on the, yeah, yeah. the, 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 on the page for this. I got to piss. All right. Yeah. You All sticking right. around? You sticking around for the page? Sure. Yes, dude. Do you want me to? We'd well, love shut to. Up. We'd love to have okay, you. Okay, cool. I'll hang. I want to talk yeah. about moguls nice. and fucking weird noses. <laughs> was it always? A, it was, so you're saying it wasn't a Roman nose? You got a Roman nose. What does that mean? I don't. It's know It's a that fucking. Means. It's what the Italians call Jew noses. Really? Roman. Do I have a really? Yeah, you got a big, powerful nose. You have a nose that looks like it's been chiseled in marble, like a, one of those heads that sits up front of a, a museum, a natural yeah. science museum. Yeah, it's it's a prominent beak for yes. sure. Yes. I but it was, it was it was it much fits the face. worse before it. It used to have a big bump right here. From yeah, that's I what I got. It. Oh, so they chipped off the excessive. They flattened it out a little, and they just really the big thing they did was they opened up this nostril. They cleared out all. the Is bones. that the story you told on Matt and Chains, or you told yeah. the actual lobsterman story? I told the story. I this story I just told now. I have not told. All right, good. I, I told the story can of. Can you tell the getting, actual lobsterman fighting story? You want me to tell that again? Well, it's on the page. Isn't one hundred percent of your listeners from Matt and Chains? <laughs> <laughs> We're Can you believe cut. he takes a shot like that? We're going to cut before that. Can you believe he takes that. a shot like that? I'm fucking real. 
That's He's acting so like rude. I won't break his nose a second time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be another good traumatic shit. plyo yeah. man. <laughs> 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 living in the it's halo a of, a, of a, Shut up. Of a, of a,